Well, they've caused car crashes in Ohio, grounded the White House press plane in Washington, D.C., and now cicadas are making themselves known in Metro Detroit. They're starting to emerge in Ann Arbor after 17 years underground. Rod Maloney spoke to one woman who says it's getting so bad they darn near knocked her over. Cicadas like this guy here, that is a male, only come out in a handful of spots across the state of Michigan, Ann Arbor being one of them. And of course, they're heard and also seen. This is actually an exoskeleton of a female. Step outside in parts of Ann Arbor and you'll hear thousands and perhaps millions of male cicadas calling for a mate. Sounds more like a jet engine though. And to resident Sarah Robbins and her children, Maddie and Sam, they're just a noisy and messy pain. There were three on our porch and I went to, with my flip flop, went to scrape them off so I didn't step on them because I had stepped on one before and it was so gross and I fell off my porch. And just for fun, Tech Wiz Sam decided to put the family ring camera video to music and then shipped it off to TikTok. I blame my fall on the cicadas. You can't blame the cicadas for being a consistent nuisance. They come once every 17 years, emerge from a generational nap of eating tree root sap, mate, and then die. MSU entomologist Howard Russell tells us the only thing in danger are sapling trees. The female lays eggs. They make a slit on branches about the size of a pencil. They lay their eggs in that, that uh, slit, and generally the branch dies above that point. Raccoons, possums, and skunks gorge on the plentiful bugs, but he warns about the family dog. If they eat just one, um, they won't get sick. But as I understand it, they're like potato chips. You just can't eat one. That's <laughs> yum, huh? We keep the dog in, I guess, is the right answer there. Now, it's 64 degrees is when they come out of the ground and then do their thing, of course. And because we had a cool spring, and in May, when they normally come out, they stayed underground. So they're delaying their exit. They'll probably be here through the end of June. Back to you. I like to dip mine in chocolate, but that's another story, Rod. Uh, you know, I'd love to ask you how many takes it took you to grab that cicada. However, I'm more intrigued with... One! One! <laughs> one I don't take. believe you. I want to see the tape. Yeah, we're going to see the tape on that. Are they showing up anywhere else I other have than it. Ann Arbor? Well, yes, they are. We are at the northern edge of the cicada uh, area. Um, so we're told that in, like, Oakland County has a small area where they have them. But they don't spread out much. They come out um, of the ground. They uh, lay their eggs. They mate. They lay their eggs and die and don't do much flying. So uh, it, as it stands right now, only the eastern U.S. really is a central area for cicadas on the entire planet. All right. If they show up in your neighborhood, we know who to call. Rod, we'll be in touch. One take. One take. <laughs>